Today we're going to be printing papers to make our cupcakes like we just saw on the smart board. So you're going to have a colored background and your name should be on the back of it. So I already have Mrs. C written on here. Somebody did that for me. I'm going to flip it over and I'm keeping my paper long. We call this horizontal or landscape. So at my table I am going to be sharing paint and some tools to print with with the people at my table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm the first person to use this roller. I am so lightly rolling this sponge into the color that is on the plate. And here's the thing with printing. We don't want to have gobs of paint. We want just a little bit. So I don't want to like scoop this whole thing up. I put my sponge in there and then I rolled some of the paint off on the side. That way I don't have tons on my sponge. So I've put my sponge in the paint just one time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make some lines going up and down. And right now, I can't see a ton of color. That's okay. I am just pushing, making my lines go up and down, starting from the bottom, going all the way to the top. And you can come back down if you'd like. So I'm getting up and down lines on this paper. Not many and they're not gobbed on there because I want to have lots of different colors and textures. With these sponges, these rollers do come off, so you might have to use your fingers to push it on, or you can even push it down on the plates. So I'm going to a second color, and again, I'm just lightly getting that roller in the paint, and then I'm kind of rubbing some of it off, and I'm going to use green to do some lines. So I'm not going crazy. I'm still trying to get those up and down lines because these are going to be our cupcake liners. So that kind of papery part that you hold when you get a cupcake. I am going to use all four colors at my table, but I'm trying to do my nicest job so that I can still see all these cool textured rolled lines that I made. So I'm not going crazy. And every time I use a color, I've only put this in the paint one time, and now I can give it to somebody else to use. Some of the rollers might be a little bit bigger, so this one is a little bit longer. Again, I'm just trying to get that paint on those circle stampers. Once I have this paper done, I'm going to carry it carefully to the drying rack, and Mrs. Cleary is going to tell me which table I'm going to go to next to do the white paper printing for the frosting of the cup. So you are at a new table spot and you have different tools to print with at this table. You're gonna get a white piece of paper with your name on the back. So you're gonna to wanna to flip that over. And at this table, you're not gonna be rolling, you're gonna be stamping. So you are gonna have a plate with a color and a couple of tools that you're going to just kind of tap into that paint to get color on one side and then I am going to just gently stamp. So I'm not smearing, I'm just putting it down gently and pulling it up. So I'm gonna do a couple of each color. The other tool on this red plate is a triangle. Same thing, I'm just gonna gently tap it in. You can even stamp some of it off on the side. And I'm always putting just that one side in the paint so that I have a clean side to hold and my fingers don't get all dirty. So there are different colors at the tables for you to stamp with. You can overlap these colors. That means I could put a yellow one and have it connect to a red one. Let's see what some orange looks like. I'm going to try this one, two, three, four, five sided shape. What's that called? Pentagon. Some of you got it. Awesome, so I am trying to fill this whole big white sheet up, and this is going to become your frosting for your cupcake. So we're gonna kind of cut and tear this apart to make it look like frosting next time. Kind of looks like all the sprinkles, doesn't it, on the frosting of a cupcake? When you're done with this, you're gonna carry it gently, carefully to the drying rack, and you can wash your hands.